hello welcome to my easy statistics in this video i'm going to discuss about conjoint analysis conjoint analysis is a survey based statistical technique used in marketing research that helps to determine how people value different attributes like features functions benefits that make up an individual product or service for discussing this conjoint analysis, I am taking a very simple example of cool drink. Here we have three attributes are there, flavor, quantity and price. And each attribute, I have taken three elements like a flavor, apple, orange and mango flavors we have taken. And for quantity, there are three quantities, 250 ml. 500 ml 1000 ml price less than 50 rupees and uh, 51 to 75 rupees above 75 rupees conjoint analysis will be conducted in two stages in the first stage we will create the combinations of these uh, three attributes and in the second stage after the survey is conducted on these combinations we will try to understand which is the most preferred combination and which is the least preferred combination so that the marketing people can introduce the most preferred combination in the market so in the first stage of conjoint analysis first we will create the combinations of the attributes for creating the combinations we must select data in this data select orthogonal design in this generate now this is the output screen first we must create the three attributes the first attribute is flavor add it second attribute is quantity add, add it third one is price so first we have added three attributes now for each attribute we need to add the levels so flavor we will add first level is um, apple second one is orange third attribute for this one is mango click continue and next for quantity define value first one is a 250 ml second level is 500 ml third one is 1000 ml click continue and next price define value first one is uh, less than 50 rupees second one is between 51 to 75 rupees and the third one is above 75 rupees click continue now we have three attributes with the levels next is we must create a data set for these combinations we'll call it as cool drink okay now uh, after creating the data set uh, now we need to click click on this options here here comes the main thing minimum number of cases to generate here totally we will be getting 27 combinations because uh, three attributes and each attribute is having three levels so three into three into three totally 27 combinations we are going to get but all combinations we may not use it because some combinations company is not interested and in some combinations customer may not prefer so let us take 10 combinations we will see and in this minimum number of combinations that must be created that we call cases to generate is at 10 number of holdout cases holdout cases means we will create a combination and give the combination to the customer for giving preference but we don't use that combination in the analysis so in this case i'm not using any sort of holdouts so i'm expecting minimum number of cases to generate is 10 click continue and click ok so you can see here the plan is successfully generated with 16 cards so let us see that so this is the combinations which we got and let us see the data view in the data view we will be seeing totally 16 cards cards means combinations and cards are giving as a 
numbers they are given from 1 to 16. In this cool drink file, uh, system has created two variables automatically. The first one is card. Card is nothing but the combination number. You can see the first combination the system has created with mango flavor 250 ml price 51 rupees to 71 rupees. So in this way this card uh, variable is automatically created which we have 16 combinations are there. The second variable which is automatically created is status. Here we have options like design and hold. Design means this combination will be used in the preference for the customers and this will be used in the analysis. If in case if I make this status as a hold, it means combination 1 will be given to the respondent but the preference will not be considered in the analysis means this combination will not be considered in the analysis. Uh, in this case I am not keeping any hold cases all I am taking is a design. Now uh, you can see uh, totally we have 16 combinations. In these combinations some combinations the company will not be interested. For example uh, you can see apple which is given like uh, you can see this one apple 1000 ml less than 50 rupees. The company is not interested in giving this combination because it may not work for the company and the customer may not prefer some combinations. For example you can see apple 250 ml above 75 rupees so this combination customer may not prefer so this also we are going to delete in this way we must uh, actually check all the combinations some combinations company may not be interested in some combinations customer may not prefer now uh, we are interested only in taking 10 combinations we will even delete this all uh, remaining combinations only uh, 10 combinations i am taking and this uh, 10 combinations must be given to the respondents and survey must be collected from them and these uh, respondents will give their preference for each combination and after collecting the survey data that must be entered into SPSS. I have already created one file uh, where we have 23 respondents are there. You can customer ID. You can see customer ID 1, 2, 3 till 23 customer uh, respondents are there and see the first customer. He has given preference from P1 to P10 and first preference is given to combination 8, second preference is given to combination 5, third preference to combination 9. In this way each customer has given their preferences from 1 to 10 and they are totally 23 respondents. Now we will be running this conjoint analysis on this file which I have named it as a preference. Now we will start the analysis conjoint analysis.